Justin Mosling and uh, Kevin Goleski. Uh, we've been making canoe paddles and kayak paddles here for three, four years. Uh, we use a bunch of different wood types and uh, try to really make it uh, more of an art than uh, kind of a, a factory uh, made product. Yeah, we actually started uh, by making some canoes a few years ago and then uh, we really enjoyed the process of making the actual paddles themselves. We've learned a lot over the years in doing them and different techniques in gluing them up and, and different types of wood uh, to use in combination with each other and different designs. Um, uh, we've, I think, used over a hundred different wood species um, in the paddles that we've done. We also try to use all of the scrap wood that we have left over from the paddles to make miniature paddles and, and try to just not waste anything. Um, we have a, a really fun time doing it. We're always trying different things. Um, and actually just the, the art of making the different designs, the different paddles um, is really what just keeps us going and, and trying to try different things that you just don't see out there. So we were trying to think of a different uh, uh, process of, of naming all of our paddles uh, given that we have so many that we do. Um, so we decided to name them after different bodies of water, different lakes and rivers. Um, and uh, this one here, uh, we have probably about 20 or so different types of wood in it. Um, it's a process of gluing the blades themselves um, in different steps and within those steps um, uh, you know we would glue each of these parts into one larger board we'd cut it uh, at an angle we glue those together and then we actually glue the pet the blades themselves um, after that we glue on grips onto each paddle which is usually a three four step process also and we try to do very intricate designs not only on the blades but also the, the grips too to again kind of set ourselves apart and do something unique and really put the time and effort into the paddle rather than just kind of producing them over and over. I mean, it took us uh, some months or maybe even the first year to really perfect uh, the craft a little bit and learn more about uh, how to really do it well. And, uh, you know, I think uh, it's really something we found to be uh, enjoying is kind of the, the learning process of what it takes to, to make a really, you know, both beautiful and also functional paddle. Um, you know, I know the first few that we made were not as uh, pretty as maybe some of the stuff that we do today and uh, definitely uh, came a long way in, in the process. Uh, a lot of the ones that just have a lot of the different wood types that really showcase the different tones of different types of woods can be really a neat thing to see. A lot of people think that we paint it or we stain it, but it's actually the natural color of the wood that is in the paddles. And so uh, I think it really gives an opportunity to showcase the grain and the different colors of different types of woods. Well, we, we love the outdoors. Um, we, we both like getting out on the water. Um, we actually we built our own canoes a few years ago and, um, uh, and then to go with it made the paddles and, and really enjoyed that process of making the paddles. And um, It's just an, another excuse to get us out on the water and, and outside and uh, really enjoy the, the outdoors that much more.